We have all seen Friday Night Smackdown, right? The Rock came out, Roman Reigns came out, the whole bloodline was out. Even The Rock said that the solo Sikoa will sing for us. What an amazing night, right? And uh, I have made a video that Cody and Seth will face Rock and Roman. And basically I predicted that and I believe that everyone was seeing that happening. No one actually believed that Cody will face Rock one on one because that that makes no sense, right? Seth versus Rock makes more sense than this. So right now we're going to talk about the challenge that The Rock made to Cody Rhodes because he refused to fight Cody Rhodes alone. How genius of an idea is all of this challenge. So we are not getting Cody versus The Rock, which is a little bit disappointing because we kind of want to see Cody slap The Rock's ass cheeks. But we are having, as I said, the tag team match. And The Rock's challenge is basically if Cody and Seth beat the Bloodline, aka The Rock and Roman, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes match at WrestleMania Night 2, the Bloodline is out of the ring. They are banned from ringside, which is amazing. And if Cody and Seth lose though, the Bloodline is getting unleash. They will be able to do whatever they want in the ring. So why this setting is the perfect setting for whatever happens. Initially when The Rock presented the challenge I was like yeah the first scenario is cool because Seth and Cody will beat the bloodline and actually that's how Cody will finish the story because he won't have the bloodline at the ringside and he will be able to beat Roman clean. Like he was able to beat him clean last year, but Solo Siko interfered and basically, eh, and he <laughs> lost. So The Rock presents the second option and I was kind of skeptical at the beginning, but then think about it. Think about how Cody and Seth loses versus Roman and Rock. And even if Seth turns on Cody, which is not very big percent for me at least, but even if this happens, this means that Cody and Seth loses, which means that Bloodline is getting unleashed. That will mean that Cody will probably finish the story against all odds and the victory will be so much sweeter. So we are in a perfect scenario where everyone wins, whatever happens. We are most certain that Cody Rhodes will finish the story this year. Because I cannot imagine WWE dragging this for another year. Yes, I have said in a couple of videos that I can imagine this happening, but the more, the more the event is coming to fruition. Uh, I cannot see the hate of the fans will be too much. A lot of fans will give up on WWE because they choose Roman to retain for another year. Also, Roman versus The Rock should not be for the championship really. And I cannot see Roman versus Rock happening without actually Roman losing the title. Maybe The Rock at some point will be uh, I want to be the head of the table, but something should trigger it. Maybe the R Roman Reigns will lose at WrestleMania and The Rock will be like, you do not deserve actually to be at the head of the table. I should be at the head of the table and they'll have another year to build that match for the next WrestleMania. So yeah, this is uh, what I have in store and I'm really happy actually for WrestleMania because at night one we're having Roman, at night two we're having Roman, at night one we're having Seth, at night two we're having Cody, we're, we have everyone on both nights and it's amazing. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, tweet, whatever you want to do. I'm gonna see you the next time. Peace.